Chapter 6 – Program Management and Organizational Capacity Building In this video, we will see how to build comprehensive HIV and STI prevention programs which could meet the needs of various groups of sex workers in different locations throughout the country. Many service-providing organizations have little experience working with sex workers, while sex worker-led organizations may have limited organizational capacity to implement the programs themselves. Those service providers need to be trained in how to build good connections with the sex worker community. This means treating sex workers not only as recipients of services, but also setting up equal partnerships with the community to follow sex workers' needs and priorities and include sex workers in their teams. Capacity building is difficult, time-consuming, and can be costly, meaning it is necessary to advocate for sustainable funding of community-led programs. The most important elements of developing programs are Coverage Sex workers all over the country should have access to essential HIV services. Mobility and migration Sex workers are often highly mobile. HIV and STI programs should be flexible and they should be able to serve sex workers who may not speak the local language. Sex worker leadership Sex workers should have an opportunity to take leadership roles in different areas in decision-making bodies, for example country coordination mechanisms, in management, and in monitoring programs. Addressing structural constraints. Sex workers face legal issues due to criminalization and unlawful police practices. They also face stigma and discrimination, poverty, housing instability, violence, harassment, and limited access to health, social, and financial services. All these factors need to be addressed while planning and implementing HIV and STI programs. Strict confidentiality and protection of data. Data that identifies the location or private individuals must be handled with strict confidentiality and protected from access by other individuals, groups, or organizations that might cause harm to sex workers. How should a strong sex worker-led organization look like? In our region, we have a lot of examples of sex workers going from being an initiative group to becoming formally registered organizations. Some of the key elements of strong sex worker organizations are good governance, transparency, accountability, effective management, and rule of law are essential components of good governance and of an organization's ability to meet its mandate. Project management. Working effectively in line with the organizational vision and mission and meeting community needs and priorities. Resource mobilization. This is essential to be sustainable and to work towards a long-term basis. Networking. Networking involves donors, communities, governments at both national and local levels, service providers, and NGO networks. Our SWIT video journey is over. You can read the full SWIT or the smart guide to the SWIT at the Global Network of Sex Work Projects website at nswp.org. There you can find the book in English, Chinese, French, Russian, and Spanish languages as well.